Okay, here's a homemade battery I made to power this little red LED here. I think it's just like a two point something volt LED. And um, got these in series with copper wire and zinc coated um, screws. And just have them hooked into each other across nine cups. So nine um, cups in series here. And on the multimeter it was reading seven point something volts. As you can see here, it's powering this little um, LED. I'll cut the light off. And there we go. So super simple. In the water, um, I put salt and some hydrogen peroxide. Um, it was getting voltage without the salt. When I put the salt in there, the voltage went up, and it went up even more when I added the hydrogen peroxide. I, even though the voltage was reading 7 point something volts, that was before the LED was connected. Once the LED was connected and put a load on it, it went down to about 1.7 volts is about what it's staying at. And it's still running after an hour and 20 minutes. It's still powering the LED here. And this is after two hours and 40 minutes. And the LED is still as bright as before. And here's six hours later. And the LED is still as bright as it was before. No change to any of the individual cells. And this is 19 and a half hours later. And the LED is still nice and bright here. You can see. Um, almost looks like rust coming off of the screws here. And here's the LED after nearly 26 hours. Just shy, about 15 minutes shy of um, 26 hours here. You can see. LED is still nice and bright and looks like more stuff in the water than uh, looks like rust. And here it is after 56 hours over two days and the LED is still nice and bright. I'm gonna go ahead and break this down now. And here are the screws and copper wire. You can see how it's rusted here. 